Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chatty and this is my channel Chatty the Mad Chatter. And I think I am all set up to do a TBR book game today. I have got all my bits and pieces because I've not done this on a one shot no edit before. So I'm hoping it will work on the first take. But I have a nice hot cup of tea to help me through. And fingers crossed everyone that this works. So yes, this is a one shot, no editing book challenge. I'm doing a May TBR and I'm doing it properly. I'm going to do six rolls and I'm going to try and read all of them this month. Whereas previously I just used them as a choice of books that I could pick from for I want to. Let's do this. So I have my game set up here. Um, this is still draft version. I intend to draw out a much bigger one that I'm gonna stick on a wall. Um, but this is just me having done the very basics. So essentially it's snakes and ladders, um, but it is uh, book ladders and these, these are bookworms, although I've realized I've just drawn them all with forked tongs. But hey, it gives you the idea of what's going on. For the sake of the video, it's book ladders and bookworms, but hey ho, it's so that snakes and ladders. Um, so the plan is I roll the dice, I move around the board, the colours will relate to a different prompt, and then I have my worrying worms prompts, which will be um more specific and challenging for me. So for example, if I land here. On this one I then go down and I have to do the worrying worm card not a uh, blue prompt and the same with the book ladders if I land at the bottom of a ladder um, then I go to the top of the ladder if I land at the top of the ladder it doesn't work same if I land at the bottom of the snake it doesn't make a difference so if I land on a ladder then I get to choose well I get to pick a card from the lucky ladders pile um, and that is um, nicer more general prompts um, and then the other ones are a mishmash so I have up here, uh, that was close, that was close. Um, here I have all what the different prompts are gonna mean today. So pink um, is roll away. I'm gonna pick six of my prompt cards um, and lay them all out and then roll a dice and which number that correlates to will be the prompt that I pick. But I just find it a little bit of fun to kind of see what I could get, which ones I want and which ones I really don't want. Um, I just think it adds a little bit more fun to it. Um, yellow is going to be my TBR tin. So in this very beautiful tin here, I have um, the names of books that have recently, um, I have recently earned or I've been given as gifts recently over sort of like the last three or four months um, or that I have bought as a, I'm having this book. Um, and then we have blue, which is um, a theme card. So if I land on the blue, I will pull a prompt from these and these are all things like it will have for example like water so I have to put pick a book that's got either water in the title or water somewhere on the cover um, and then I have um, green if I land on those um, I get to read one of my highlighted books this year so um, at the beginning of the year which you won't have seen because I only started doing this in March um, I picked um, five standalones and one series that I've never read before that I wanted to kind of highlight to encourage myself to read and that is let's go this way um and that is here so I've got um the pillars of the earth series I've read the first one which is why it's not there I then have these oh there's four where's the fifth one I read the fifth one the fifth one was humans and I already read it um and then I have these four the firekeeper's daughter the adventures of Sherlock the adventures of Sherlock Holmes um the girl with a louding voice and the nature of witches so those are all books I've never read and I really want to kind of highlight to make sure I try and re read this year. And then I have rereads because I enjoy a reread. I have been doing quite a lot of rereads this year, but none that were actually on my list I set for myself. Um, so over here I have got um, Jane Eyre as a reread. I cannot remember. Um, I read this as a old, te young teenager. Yeah, young teenager. Um, and I've picked it up a couple of times and then never managed to finish it. So I really want to try and read that this year. Black Flamingo, where are we going that way? Black Flamingo is one of my absolute favourite books. I love it so, so much. And I wanted to allow myself the opportunity to definitely reread it again this year and possibly twice. Um, and then I have The Secret Life of Bees. 
and um, false colours and back home. Um, and I've just realised I've not told you what any of these are, but I'll put StoryGraph links down and you can have a look. And at some point, maybe I will do a video. Um, no, I've done a video. I will post the video when I have editing abilities again. And the series I want to reread is the Percy Jackson series, which starts with The Lightning Thief. So yeah, so the green is I basically pick one of those books, whichever one I feel like by London Green. Let's put this here. Fingers crossed it stays. We might be okay. Okay, have I spoken through everything? Um, oh, no, the fun bit. So um, I was speaking to quite a few people on shelf-based discord yesterday um, about ideas for if I manage to read all six of these books I'm about to roll for this um, in May. If I manage to read them all in May, what, re what reward should I give myself? And if I don't manage to read them in May, what punishment should I give myself? And I have written down all their fabulous suggestions. Not so many ideas came to them for rewards, but they had loads for punishment because that's how they roll. <laughs> um, but I'm so appreciative of everyone who joined in that conversation and got involved. It's been really, really helpful. And I will be uh, cutting these up. Um, and at the end of the month when I do my wrap up, I'll let you know whether I have to pull a punishment or if I managed it and I had and get to do a reward. So we had some really fun ones on here. I'll just read out a couple. Um, so one from um, Lucia um, in the Shell Space Discord and also Jess from the channel Me, Myself and I had the idea of in the following month for a reward, I get to replace any of the prompts throughout the month. If I suddenly decide I, I don't want to do that prompt, I don't want to read that book, I get to swap it out for a mood read so I and then I count that mood read towards my TBR. Um, and then for an example from one of the punishments, um, one <laughs> um, is to, um, if you saw my video about um, uh, healthy books, um, books I earned, being healthy, being healthy for books, that was it. Um, I, to try and encourage myself to like not gorge on chocolate and to do things like go to bed early, um, I give myself healthy points in order for me to earn books. So all books that I buy, I keep under my bed until I've earned them and they go on my shelf. Uh, so Brett from the Shelf Space Discord suggested that as a punishment, I have to put one of the most recent books that I have earned, that I haven't read, back under the bed. <laughs> Um, yeah, so lots of fun ideas on there. So I will let you know which one I end up doing in the wrap up, and I will pull that pull them out out of a jar. I'm not necessarily going to do this for every single month because I don't want to stress myself out. But May is my birthday month. I'm excited. I really want to do this book game for fun. There's no readathons happening. Um, all the people that I'm doing read along with, everyone's quite chill. So I feel, I feel. Pardon me, I'm burping. I feel able to, to do this and have fun with it. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm going to do six rolls. So, I think I've said everything. I've put, you can't see them all here, but all like series that I'm in the middle of, I've kind of brought down and put here. But we may have to run around the house for me to find a book that fits. So, welcome to chaos. It's, it's going to happen. Stick with me. We can do this. So, for the first roll... Um, I can go whichever way I want to. So there's only on the first roll and then whichever way I go will then determine if I'm going clockwise or anti-clockwise and then I don't get to choose after that. With this first square, because it's so tiny, there's only, well, it's not massively tiny, but there's like 12 steps to it. I'm just going to use the one dice um, as I can go anywhere. And then once we get to the second and third um, squares, then I will roll with two dice. Right, let's do the first roll. You can't see it. You're just going to have to trust me. But I've, I've, I'm showing you the board. It's it's the best we're going to have, guys. So you're just going to have to believe that I'm honest, okay? Okay, there we go. I have rolled a two. So I don't think I can get a ladder with that most of the time. Oh, no, I can. I can get a ladder if I do green and then here. So, you know, let's get a ladder on there early on. One, two, up the ladder. And because I was going clockwise... Then the B is there, ready to go clockwise around the board for my next roll. So that is a lucky ladder. So we get to choose one of these. I'm going to shuffle them and pull it out. Dun, 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 dun. What's it going to be? Oh, 
and I can't read it in the screen, so I'm just going to peer. Oh, is there a new series you want to start or a series you want to continue? Amazing. So we get to put some of the books that I really want to read onto this TBR from the get-go, which is marvellous. The question is, which one do I choose? Because I have so many series that I'm currently rereading and really want to read this month. I'm going to go for my favourite. Let's stick the biggest book on here. On here. Let's do it. Let's do this. It might be crazy. I may well regret this, but let's just do it. Okay. It's Words of Radiance. It's Words of Radiance, which is probably a crazy thing to put on this TBR, but I really, 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 really want to read this in May. And let's do this. We can do it. It's the first one on here. I feel confident, maybe optimistically so. But yes, Words of Radiance. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive, which is written by Brandon Sanderson, and it is a adult epic fantasy series. Okay, so we're now on the second ring. So we're going to do two dice rolling, and I'm going to put the board down so I can do this properly. Okay, shake the dice, shake the dice, let them go! I have, oh, double four. Doubles don't mean anything in this game, so it doesn't matter. Double four, which is eight, for all those who are good at mental maths. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, close, seven, eight, which is yellow. And that is TBR 10, which I'm really excited to do because I haven't used it yet. Do, 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 TBR 10. So I have all these little bits of paper in here. I'm not going to look, but orange is new series and green is continuous series and other colours are just random other colours so let's see what I get oh I'm going for this one and it's attached to other ones okay I think I think this is just a single one. Oh, it's green oh good so it's continuous series which series am I continuing a gathering of shadows which is upstairs <laughs> so let's go on a journey together La 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 la, we're going on a journey upstairs and you can't see me and this is going to be very chaotic. Um, up we go. <laughs> I'm going to get some exercise doing this video. Okay, it's here on my shelf. We have a gathering of shadows and this is the second book in the Darker Shades of Magic series, which I read, no, in the Shades of London series. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shades of London series, and I read A Dark Shade of Magic last year, this month, April. April just gone. So there we have the second book. Um, I did it as a buddy read with um with Jess, with Jesse from let's see if I can get the angle right again. Ah. With Jesse from um Jesse the Sleepy, Sleepy Koala. So, Jesse, if you watch this and you want to carry on a buddy read for the second one, uh, feel free to join me. I will be reading it this month. Right, well, that was fun. Let's do our third roll. And I'm going to need a cup of tea after that mad dash upstairs. Okay. So, we're still on the second, second square. So, we're doing two dice again. And we have... Whoop, so please, doubles don't mean anything. I've got a double three. So let's move six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is the um, that is the top of a ladder, not the bottom. So it will be green, not ladder that I am doing here. And green is oh from my yearly plan. And I like I said, I haven't I haven't read any of these ones. So I'm choosing Black Flamingo because I just want to read it again. So there we go. I know I don't have my beautiful aesthetic, so I'll put, I'll put Jane Eyre there instead. I'm reading Black Flamingo. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful novel in verse. It's YA, it's contemporary, it's by Dean Atta. It really deals with intersectionality, identity. Um, it's amazing. I've spoken about it on my channel before and I'm going to read you the back again because I just absolutely love it. 
This is not about being ready. It's not even about being fierce or fearless. It's about being free. And that is our protagonist, Michael, talking about um, why he does drag. And I just love this. We follow Michael throughout the story from literally being born. Um, we have this really nice picture of like this flamingo egg that that whole bit is spoken about in. Um, oh, and I have to show you the got pretty pink flamingo paper pictures there. And then, ah! um, and then we follow him up to his first year in university and he goes to Union Brighton, which is where I live. So that's fun as well. Right, three books. It's going, I'm feeling happy so far. I feel it's going really well. I still have two massive books that I want to read this month to get on here, but we'll see. <laughs> I will be prioritizing the TBR books though. Yum. <laughs> We're on a double four again. These are made of foam. They're not loaded. Anyway, it's an eight. Fourth roll is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is the top of a ladder. So we go woo, oop, woo. Ta -da! There I am. Um, I probably should make the top of the ladders clearer for everyone else watching, but get another, get another ladder. How exciting. I'm just going to find the one I didn't throw it to one side. I put it back in there. So I'm just going to move, going to move that one um, that I've already done. Okay. Picking one. And then we have this one, which is choose a book with a beautiful cover. Ooh. Oh, okay. Let's have a little think. Um, so, Rainbow Grey here has a beautiful cover. That would be continuing a series, and that's quite a nice short read. The True Queen, I don't know if I can get away with having it has a beautiful cover. It, its cover is, is nice enough, I'll show you. But I don't think I'd describe it necessarily as beautiful. Um, so I don't think that will work. Uh, the name of all things. I don't, I, I like the cover, but I wouldn't call it beautiful. Um, and say so this is very pretty. So ooh, that's the, see if I can sit down again so I don't look headless. Uh, so that's the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Also, Fire Keeper's Daughter, Nature of Witches, all very beautiful covers. Another book I'd quite like to get on here is this Ship of Magic that I specifically chose for the cover. Now, I don't know what it's going to give me next. It would be good to get Ship of Magic on here. But what will the other ones give me? Could I squeeze on? Would it be better to have like Rainbow Grey as a nice light alternative if I can get? I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going with Rainbow Grey. I'm going with Rainbow Grey. I'm going with Rainbow Grey. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna put a middle grade on here, nice and light, and also look at these edges. Oh yes, how beautiful is that? Yes, this this is what we're doing. Doing this is the second book in the Rainbow Grey series. It is Eye of the Storm absolutely loved Rainbow Grey. It's by Laura Ellen Anderson. It's a children's middle grade fantasy. And no, this feels good. This feels good. Yes. Yes, we're going with that. Okay. We're on to the fifth roll. Touching wood. This is going quite well. I'm probably going to jinx it now. So I'm down here and we are going clockwise. So I need to turn this way. Come on, B. Get with the program. Mm. Right. There we go. Let's, roll the, let's see if we can get something that's not a double, <laughs> just because it just feels so random. How have I managed to get three doubles in a row? Okay, oh, there we go, not a double. We have a lucky number seven. Let's see where that gets us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have, there we go, I jinxed it. We have a worrying worm. 
Wearing worm. Wearing worm. I'm worried. I'm worried about this worm. Okay. I'm going to pick from my worrying worm ones. Let's shuffle them. I'm feeling happy that I chose Rainbow Grey now because I don't know what this is going to do. Okay, go for this one. Go for this one. It's upside down. A book which is mainly random colour on the cover. Okay, so the book I have to pick now. So I have a box of felt chip pens. So I'm going to just pick a colour from here. Maybe I'll stop rattling them because obviously that'd be noisy. I'm going to pick a felt tip pen from here. Whatever colour it is, that has to be the main colour of the book. Not just on it a little bit, that has to be the main colour. So for example, like if I get a yellow, then um, the girl with the louding voice would work. If I get a blue, I mean, I can't really read it because it's the fourth one and I haven't read the other two. But the morning, the evening and the morning would work. But like if I got like a gold, they do have a gold in their felt tip pen section. Uh, that wouldn't count because that's not the main colour. Okay, I hope that's clear. I'm going in, what have I got? Peach! <laughs> really? This is what I've got. I don't like this. Worrying worm. Okay, I'm going to find a flipping peach colour book now. James and the Giant Peach work. No, it's colour on the book. It's not in the title. It's not a theme card. Okay. Well, this may be dull for you because I feel this has stumped me. Why have we got this pen in here? Ooh. Ooh. I've just found something that could work. On my classics shelf. Yeah. Look at that. That is amazing. This book... So this is a lovely cute copy of Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This book I got because I have, let's do a bit of camera moving here, on my classics shelf, all the way over there, after that little tiny gold, the teal green and, mint green and gold, I've got a red Sense and Sensibility, a yellow Pride and Prejudice, a green Emma, a dark blue Mansfield Park, Persuasion is on loan, uh, but it's pink. And so I wanted a kind of an orangey colour for Northanger Abbey because I quite enjoyed that rainbow aspect of it. So yeah, but it's actually peach. So I'm really excited about that. I've not, I've read Northanger Abbey once again as a teenager and I love Jane Austen, love Jane Austen. And I've never read this copy. I've never read this copy. I've not owned Northanger Abbey. It was, um, it was, it was a book that was in, it was in like a, like a bind up of, of like a couple of Jane Austen books. Um, and it was my mum's. So I've not owned a proper copy of this. So that's exciting. That works really well. Yay. Okay. Okay. All right. You, you didn't defeat me, Peach Crayon. I really want to make a joke about peach crayon from a story. There's a picture book. There's a picture book called um, The Day the Crayons Quit. And I think I will need to share that with you at some point. It's a hilarious picture book. I love it so much. And uh, peach crayon has a page and they all write letters to their owner. Anyway, um, it, it makes me laugh. And there's a character called peach crayon. Peach crayon. Let's do the final roll. <laughs> and it's gone chaotic already. I've just gone off, lost the plot. Right. Final roll, let's do this. Here we go, we've got a big number for the end. Number 11. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's right, 11. It's the bottom of the, it's the bottom, I just realized I did the whole thing, you can't see what I was doing. It's the bottom of the snake, so that's okay, it's the bottom. So it's blue, have I done blue? I haven't done blue yet. Blue is a theme, blue is a theme. My theme cards, okay. Shuffle, I have shuffled them already, so I don't know why I'm reshuffling, maybe because it makes me feel better. Adds the tension, adds the tension. Can you hear the shuffling going on? Okay, theme card. 
animals. So a book with an animal on the cover or in the title. Okay. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Name of all things has a horse! <laughs> there we go. I was just going to look and see if. No! Oh, Assassin's Quest died. I was just going to see if Ship of Magic had an animal. Dragon's more mythical creature than animal, isn't it? Oh, it's not even a dragon, it's a sea serpenty thing. So yeah, no, it's not got an animal on there. This is the other massive... Are you trying to make a point? This is the other massive book. So I had three massive books I wanted to read this, this month. Uh, Words of Radiance and then these two because... Um, of continuing read-alongs, um, starting read-alongs in this case. Um, so I'm going, Name of All Things works really well and I'm also hoping to read this alongside. <laughs> this is also a book I want to read. Right, oh, TBR is la 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 la. Here's all my books for May. Okay. I will need to get my head down. Whoop. So obviously these two I was hoping to read anyway. So that's so good that I've got them on here. And I'm very excited to be reading both of them. Um, Gathering of Shadows. I want to keep reading that series. So that's great. Oh, I love, I love Black Flamingos. I'm really excited. Can't wait to keep seeing what's happening with Ray Gray. And then I'll be up to date on that series. Not hanging, I'd be surprised. Wasn't expecting to read that this month, but fun to add in. Um, and it will definitely give me uh, another genre amid all of the classic classics. Okay, come on, you've nearly done it, Charlotte. Just focus for the last bit. Right. <laughs> it will give me another genre amid all of the fantasy I've got going on. We have one contemporary and one classic. Right, there we go. That's TBR. Okay. There. I've got my TBR. Will I do it? Will I be able to read all these books in May and manage to get to Ship of Magic for the read along as well? But if I don't read Ship of Magic, I won't need to do a punishment. That's okay. So that's probably going to be pushed to the end. Um, and there will be one more book that I'm reading this month, which I will be talking about later. Whoop! Because I'm doing something... Well, I'm excited about it. I don't know if anyone else will find it exciting, but I'm very excited about it. So there will be one more book that I'll be adding to this pile to read in May. Um, but yes, that worked well. We did this. We did this. Woohoo! And is my tea still hot? Yeah, tea is still drinkable. So thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I loved doing this. Um, I'll see if it stresses me out or if, um, if, if it's good, if it's working. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing this again. I don't know if I'm going to do it in June. Um, I might do it as another kind of selecting books for a tea and taste. Um, like I did in March um, because June I'm hoping there could be a read-along but we will see what happens anyway thanks so much for watching let me know all your thoughts and opinions are you involved in any read-alongs this month are you doing any readathons what have you got planned have you got book games chat to me down below about any of these books any of the other books you've seen on my shelves and um Happy reading for May, everyone. May the 4th be with you. Um, if you're doing any of the uh, Star Wars readathons, I can't remember. Or is there a horror one going on in May? There's stuff happening. Anyway, chat, chat, chat. I need to stop talking. Goodbye and happy reading. <laughs>